Oh yeah, we live. <laughs> we live. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Cloudy Kickback. You hear me? Y'all hear me? Let's drink, bro. So that was pretty cool, and uh, I, I wasn't worried to tell y'all about this two weeks ago or last week, but uh, I got a fucking Snicker bar and put my damn gas tank in my gas tank of the FJ Cruiser. What? Right. Wait, 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 wait. So that's it's just like shit, really bro. annoying, bro. That's, that's flash. It's like this motherfucker's trying to ruin my life. Man. So that's crazy. But was that before or after the one? Never mind. I don't even know what you're talking about. I know. So how about this? It's cold as fuck. Just randomly. It's right. like it's Cleveland. Cleveland just is like, all right, fuck it. Here's a switch. Flick the switch. Now it's yeah, back cold. Don't, don't say that other word, because you know that comes quick. You see too. what the fuck I have on. Yeah, sure I have a fucking hoodie on. Already. Let me see That shit like way loud. Yeah, it is loud as hell. So um, yeah, my hoodie's shout out to a Kodak, free Kodak, Glee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Glee. You know what I'm saying? And then this is what else I got. I kind of want a job. 
I kinda, I kinda wanna get a regular traditional job, man. I, I'ma just say this. I'm not sure why, but it just it's just something that I wanna I feel like I wanna do, man. I feel like I'll miss that companionship of work. Like having an actual schedule? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm referring to, but I just was riding past clicking fingers the other day. I did not just scratch my ass. I scratched my back. And I just saw some people leaving. And I'm just like, man, it's like they had a cool day at work, about to hop in the whip and just drive on to the crib. Right. I don't know why I just thought, you know, anyway. No, no, I keep it up with you. That's not a bad thing. And this time, as we are in, you're a at home guy. You know, they have plenty of remote jobs. So there you go. Well, you know, yeah. also, man, sleeping alone, sorry, Jordan, is, is for the W. I know y'all people out here, y'all got y'all significant others, y'all sleep with them every night. I'll be sleeping with my motherfucking pillows, nigga. And that shit be feeling great. Just wanted to say that. Sorry. I'm not and then, that. also, even in my fucking car is slow. I just want to put that out there. Which car was you have? The Jaguar. You're not eating shit in my Jaguar. It sounds like somebody ate a Jaguar. Somebody trying to eat some Piata in my Jaguar. It's fucking slow. Oh, no. That smells probably so good. Yeah. I'm like, bro, hell no, bro. We can smoke here, but we cannot eat. Yeah, Piata got to definitely get a different smell. That shit's probably annoying as hell. So I just want to end with this, my weekly update, because it's been the first of the month. For sure. Um, You should map your months out. Like, I map my months out every month. Boom. First of the month. Rent to the fifth is due on the fifth, so I do already right, first to the fifth. I put rent on the first to the fifth, and then I got another bill on the ninth. Put the bill on there, blase, blase, blase. Put it on there, and then you can see your free days, see how many days you got until a bill come. Then you can budget easier, and everything just becomes way more copacetic. So say that. So look at the calendar, map it out, put your bills and your shit on there. So then you actually know when your shit is coming, and then. You know, Oh, that's how you do that. And then it'd be, then it'd be way better. The reason I was clapping it up is you gotta, you know, be financially smart. I mean, it cut, I know it's gonna be that loud. It's all good. That's crazy. But no, you gotta be financially smart, you know. You can just, you, just, you, can, you, you manipulate your own pockets. For real. They don't manipulate themselves. Yeah, you, you know what you got coming in, you know? You hear me? Well, that's we, That's all I got on this, uh, on my, uh, my, my weekly updates. But what do you got on quick takes? Quick takes? I, I like that one better than quick hits. Quick takes. Oh, I, I like thought that. it was quick takes. I like that better. Just like oh. quick, hits, quick takes. I like that real. That's, that's, right. that's official. Quick takes. Quick takes. All right, so, uh, damn, it's been a crazy week. So, um, we got a guy wanted in Cleveland. What's up, Love Jones? He's, he uh, smacked a woman in with a sandwich. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, be on the lookout. And this is actually not funny. Be on the lookout. This big guy here running around smacking his sandwiches? Yeah, right there on 123rd St. Clair at the uh, U.S. Gas. So, hold on. Is he going to buy her Nini's or are you going to buy a Subway? No, he was actually at the 123rd gas station. I think that's the HP in there uh, at the U.S. So gas. So, he, he took the sandwich and then slapped somebody with it? And, no, like, pushed him with it or, like, slapped him with it like pastrami? He was, uh, thought it was corned beef, so she got fucked up. Ugh. And, and it's... Uh, and it's not a good situation. He was hollering at an underage girl. She was 17. He's 33. My nigga Frank in here. I was going on Frank. Little Becky, you here too? Hey. Well, when did you get in here, little Becky? What is, what, what's going on? You uh, didn't even tell me my guy. Right. We didn't even do y'all, little Becky, for real. Damn. We'll get. So, hold up. What's up with this summer slapping ass nigga? Oh, he's the same one slapping ass nigga. So, he was trying to holler at that old girl again. She's 17. She ain't want to go, you know what I'm saying, by the bay. He's like, oh, no, you want to fuck with me? So, he, oof, smacked her with a sandwich. Corned beef sandwich. Was it nighttime? No, it was probably even day. Smacked her in dead legs. Dead, 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 broad dead. daylight. Busted yeah. everywhere. And not only did he smack her, he stomped her out. That's, a, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. And people that actually recorded it. And put you talking about that video? Yeah, and I didn't know it was that story. That was the... Yes, and that's he was that, stomping on her. That's that. Video. I didn't know. Well, I didn't know until I read. But she was fighting on him. No. Why did she come back? No. She. Yeah, she was fighting on him because she slapped him with a sandwich. He got. She got slapped with a sandwich. Yeah, I will give you that. So I Damn. didn't. They didn't show that part. They just showed. I'll be seeing this shit. I'll be yeah. like, man, what the fuck are y'all people getting into, bro? I, read, like, I like to go to the store, get what I'm getting, and leave. I don't necessarily know how you get slapped with a sandwich. I don't know. You know how you don't. Yeah, you know, but whatever. So, but that happened. Yeah. Um, Trump got COVID. <coughs> this nigga's a dickhead. <laughs> I think it's all a scam. It, it might be, but he was in the hospital. He know what to watch to read. Trump got COVID. Oh, sidebar. <coughs> what? Vote. Oh, yeah. I always leave with that. Go vote. November 3rd. November 3rd. You're going to vote. 
Monday, tomorrow. Yes. You can start voting. Uh, go ahead. You can go get your early vote on. Early vote. Vote. Mail in. But you can go right down to the Board of Elections right there on the Ooh. Ooh. And go vote. Motherfuckers. Um, but yeah. Uh, Aurora, Colorado Police. Uh, I saw that. Tied a woman. And fucking had, like had, had her head down. Yeah, and that shit happened last year. Crazy. And it's just coming to light now. But I actually... Like Aurora, Colorado, you know, it was actually there this time. Well, they said Aurora, Aurora. I thought they were talking about Aurora, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Aurora, Colorado. But yeah, they had her all tied in the backseat because she was fighting. You know what I'm saying? You heard in the, in the video just, you know, calling the master, like, Master, you ain't got to do this to me, or you ain't got to make me suffer. I'm sorry, Master. Like, it was just disgusting. Like, it's just disgusting. Man. You know, the shit they're going through our black women. You know what I'm saying? Black men, just black people in general. It's just disgusting, man. I'm tired. Uh, is you tap out? No, I'm not tap out. I just got it, huh? For that one, uh, Jamie Foxx is going back to Marvel. He's uh, going to be reprised. I the, saw uh, that. As Electro in the upcoming Spider Man. Is this not an entertainment topic? Uh, I mean, we could. It was just a quick hit because I didn't really want to dive in. I didn't want to. Ah, uh, like you know, okay, 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 okay. I see. You. I didn't want to go too head first in because I. That's my. You see who just joined? Hey, what's going on? I see you. Yeah. <laughs> what does he see you? So anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you hear me? Yeah, hear me. Andrew Cuomo came at Ted Cruz's neck this week. I don't even know who either one of those people are. I mean, not Andrew Cuomo, Chris Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo is the governor of uh, New York. Chris Cuomo is his brother. He's a political commentator. Comes on right before Don Lemon on CNN. But he you know had an interview with Ted Cruz. You know, giving Trump that COVID. You know, he didn't want to uh, say anything, you know, de- not say degrade, but he didn't want to say anything impartial to him running election, how he's, you know, doing so and so for the government. So he just straight calls him a, a clown. He's like, bro, you a clown? He called your wife ugly. Like, what? <laughs> what? Chris Cuomo says this, you know, in trying Chris to. Chris Cuomo called Ted Cruz wife ugly. No, he's because Ted Cruz doesn't want to say anything against Trump. And what you doing with that bun? I was about to put that <laughs> past to you now. But long story short, Ted yeah, Cruz a little story not, short. You got Ted a hard Cruz time is not impart- No, I'm giving you all the full story. Ted Cruz is not impartial to anything Trump does or anything Trump says. He just says, hey, he's the president. So Chris Cuomo says, bruh, you was one of the president, and this man calls your wife ugly, and you ain't going to say nothing bad about the president. You ain't going to say nothing. This man's doing everything right. Is this a joke? No, he was being dead that serious. <laughs> like, like we we doing our little show right now. Uh-huh. He's in the midst of this show, you know, he's, you know interviewing him. Asking him questions, he's not being impartial. She was like, "Bro, so let's just, let's just put this on the table." Bro, you killing me with this story, bro. You killing me. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? You killing me. But long story short, he violated. Him this is supposed to be quick hits. It's a wrap. But this is before <laughs> going into a political chase <laughs> debate. I did. Bro. I don't even know who these people are. And if you use an impartial, like I don't know what that word means. Like, don't nobody know what this stuff <laughs> means. Look. <laughs> It's a quick hit. All right. I'm going to get y'all together, man. <laughs> y'all sure. saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to get y'all together. Go ahead. All right, man. So I had the same thing start early on the boat juice. Nigga vote over third. So I just want to start with this. This fucking nigga Mike DeWine declares Monday, October 5th, as National Prayer for Donald Trump Day. Because he has the wrong up. So, tomorrow, make sure when you hear your prayers, you pray for Donald Trump because Mike DeWine asked you to. Mm. So, you know, just to give you a heads up, it's, 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 it's Donald Trump prayer day tomorrow. But no, I, I can't give him that juice like that. That's <laughs> terrible, bro. So, also, uh, it's, I don't know if y'all played a lot of but the Mega Million is up to $41 million right now. I might play it now. So, go ahead and give them your money. And, you know, Probably hopefully not. they pay you out. Probably not. You know, I highly doubt. So, also, congrats to Machine Gun Kelly for dropping a fucking rock album and going number one and giving the Cleveland his first number one album That's that we true. ever had. So, shout him out on that good venture. But I also want to tap into this real quick. What's going on? I really love how... When you're a person of different color, you can tap into the rap juice, wow. use our culture for the juice, uh, and then when you suck at it, you're like, "Damn, let me go back to what I'm supposed to be doing." The rock, 
and then I get a number one fucking album. I just want to let you, that's, that's fucking bullshit, and it's I mean, really frustrating. Because I would love to see the Migos do the same thing and go get a number one album in fucking rock music. Though. They probably could do it. They probably could. I mean, but, Run DMC tried to go back in the day with the... Uh, they walked this way and they changed yeah. that. That's what they started. I just wanted to, wanted to paint that picture. Mm-hmm. That That's a, a picture of white privilege. And Prime example, just, day. just you know. But yeah. Here you go. And then also and Mr. Shiller? Right. He took the test. It was Taco Week this week. It was it ended. They was giving yeah, it ended it ended. I was like, I actually part, about Taco Week. I actually participated. I had a good time. That's for sure. How so how was it so you did participate? It was good. I think that no, actually, I think that they should have did a better job of fucking having like a hub. All right, like boom, this is Taco Week. We all meet here. This is a starting point, you know. Instead of just having it scrambled all over the place, like you playing a game that nobody know about. That's how I felt about Pizza Week, because Pizza Week actually was a game that nobody knew about. Right. See, if you, I think if you're gonna do it, you should have a spot where you meet up at. Yeah. Boom. Instead, they have you print the papers out, and, you and then you just go to the restaurants yourself. You ping pong all over the place. Oh, I mean, which is good, I guess, but it's not like it wasn't organized. It yeah. wasn't like. But it's the first time, so they're going to do it again next year. It's their first annual joint. Oh, shit. Shout, Shout out to Brittany. Shout out to CN Snaps. What's, What's up, up, y'all? I see y'all. What's going on, Jacob? Go Browns. You hear me? So, also, this is getting on the bad side. On the west side, on the West 25th Street, in broad daylight, a 12 year old boy was shot in the face. What? And he hasn't passed away. But the cops said they don't know what the fuck happened. Nobody knows anything. It's just like, okay, I guess nobody knows nothing. So it's crazy. I just wanted to put that out there. It's crazy. And um, pray for Cleveland. Pray for Cleveland. So peep this. I'm sick of you fucking PUA niggas out oh here. My PUA God. in. PUA they up. They coming up, man. They P- coming up, bro. Man, they've been coming up for fucking since the summer. whole year, bro. Oh, oh, man. I'm year. getting sick of seeing Flex, Flex City. I mean, <laughs> do your thing. I'm never going to knock anybody yeah, out of yeah, money. But do. I just want some. Let me tap in a little bit, man. Put me on. Also, Regal Cinemas is closing all locations in the United States. Oh, word? It, it's good while it lasted. Damn, Bob Regal. Uh, yeah, sorry. No more uh, Popcorn Tuesdays? I didn't even know they had that. Yeah, man. I think somebody's trying to join us, but sorry, we don't join on the show. Nah, not this one. We'll have a, we'll have an episode for that specifically. We'll Sidebar. Let on? us know about what you think about this. So. Oh, don't do it to him. Don't do it too early. Yeah, it so, it boom. We want to have special two special episodes. Two. Let me know if y'all want to join. Uh, and participate. So we're gonna have a hot wings challenge. Yeah, y'all know the hot one. Show. We gotta put them on or whatever. The hot the one show they do it like it's an interview show that they do on fucking YouTube and on. Uh, they have a TV game show, mm-hmm. and they just basically eat hot ass fucking chicken wings and ask celebrities questions. And we're gonna try to do the same challenge here, but I'm gonna put him to the ringer by questioning him. And I'm gonna do the same thing with him by questioning him. Right, and if we can't answer the question, then we eat the fucking chicken wing. It's a complete fifth option. So know? right and. I uh, just want to let you sidebar. You're going to have to come really hard in your questions because I answer everything. So, another thing. Pineapples. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to have another episode, probably a little short 20 minute, 30 minute episode where we're trying to invite some people over. And then we're going to fucking smoke the fucking hell out of this house. Like with one of those. You're going to do a real kickback. Right, right with a re blower. Shock vac, a re Yeah, when they put the fucking butt in it and just blow all over the house. We're going to have that going and we're going crazy. Straight smoke or we going to have a real. Cloud, yeah, you can have it like in a circle, <laughs> right? And then we will just be in here talking shit. I like guess yeah. a little sidebar episode, but we will still keep the Wednesday and Sunday juice. Definitely gonna keep that probably like a Tuesday ish. Yeah, yeah, or like a Friday. Yeah. yeah. So boom, is you know what time it is? It's time for the. Yeah, it we. Yeah, me. Yeah, it hit me. What did she say? Oh, she said she want to have me in, too. <laughs> okay. Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, hit me. So, no. It's time for the of the week. Yep. So, what you got for the of the week this week? Man, I haven't had the opportunity to get any new Pacquiao like that. So, I'm down to the last of my Oreo pie. Right. And I've been smoking that Oreo oh, pie. Man. That shit, right now, it was a four and a half, five. I'm mean, a four and a half out of uh, five chosen mm-hmm. last week. But now it's at a uh, four in, four out of five because <laughs> I've been smoking the shit out of it. Yeah, it gets all sometimes. Yeah. So 
you know, what's the best yet? I got my hands on right now. So that's my nugget of the week. Um, well, I'm not gonna feel bad for this one. Yeah, mine is Grease Monkey. Oh, so you're back to back too. <laughs> so See, it's uh, like yeah, a drop right now. It's, it's hard to get your fingers or anything. But it's cool. I ain't even gonna lie. Cheers. It's a great, great vibe. You hear me? It was a four and a half. Like he was back down to a four, so. Right. It is what it is. I ain't mad. It's a great smoke. It's a Let's high. know what the fuck y'all smoking. Complete, yeah. nah, we ain't got not one nothing. Can I just be dry? Dry as fuck. We smoke weed. Do y'all smoke? Yeah, I wonder. I don't know if y'all smoke cigarettes or something. Y'all smoking something. Yeah, me. I hope it ain't that. So, what's up, man? It's my favorite time of the week. Yeah. How's the week? Howdy, 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 howdy. howdy. <laughs> I don't know why I love doing that. I don't that, know you man. love doing that, man. I do it. That's my favorite part, man. It's not bad. I enjoy it too. Howdy. So I'm gonna start it off this week, and I'm gonna, you know, you guys are probably gonna just <laughs> see me. Smoking I see. I see. <laughs> you bet not. You can smoke some air. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I got. Uh, I'm starting this week off with sweet, man. I know it's been, you know, like four this weeks in a row. This is my straight now. Damn, I'm about to burst out. We need some like some little thing, there's like some little Right, some little touch, little, little in between. Mm-hmm. So Morocco. So uh I got Sweetie. She's she's the number one hottie of the week. I mean she's not the hottie of the week, but she's like she's back in here. She's the first person I chose. Okay. So you already know the reason. She's beautiful, she's silly. Man, I just can't get over them lips and them baby hairs mm-hmm. and how fucking focused and how much juice she got. So that's always good. And then I got another one, the Ruby Rose. Oh, Ruby Rose, you hear me? Hey. I got Ruby Rose again, man. Uh, she is really nice. What's up, bro? My my bro, uh, Lamar is out there. So Ruby Rose, I don't know if I ever checked her out, but she's really pretty, man. A little light skin, baby. And I just want to give y'all a little introduction to this next one. I was not expecting to ever have this. This girl on my damn list. But, or I mean, I don't know, man. I've just been lusting after her for the last couple of days. Okay. And her this name is. Becky Crocker. Becky Crocker. Yeah, man. Where I don't know she, where she's from. I don't know nothing Becky? about her. All I know is she got some big ass titties and she got a fat ass and she's a white girl. Where's the confused button? Do we have a confused button? I, I don't got nothing to say. Okay. So, what's up, Prince? Uh, it's my dude from Cali. What's up? We need to come skit together. I'm going to come talk with you. Okay. So, but yeah, bro. Becky Crocker, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what possessed me. Go ahead. If y'all want to see what I'm talking about, go to her Instagram page. Becky Crocker or official or something like that. She's she fire, man. So, but I got to get my weekly hottie to. Sweetie. <laughs> she got Damn, it, man. man, I was waiting for something different. Bro, I mean, over the ones I picked, man, Sweetie ain't got, I mean, they can't be Sweetie. Man, she's too fire. I don't know. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Y'all niggas stay name of hoes. Right. Got a good I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becky Crocker. Becky. Oh, like, like Becky Crocker, but Becky. So, yeah, go ahead and Google her. You know what I'm saying? Her Instagram is fire. You hear me? <laughs> All right, well, shit. Let me go ahead and get my little little hottie line up right here. I got threatened a little bit earlier, the little comments. I just want to say this, man. My, 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 I don't know how you choose your hotties, but they got to have a million followers. So, because I, I feel like they, so people know who the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, well, <coughs> shit. I just be going off of Bad. Unless you're just too bad and I just have no option but to put you on my list because you're too damn bad. I ain't about to keep asking this to you and keep denying it. I didn't see. Go ahead. Name your hotties, man. Right. So, uh, we're starting off this week, you know, um, just because she popped up on my time, she she popped up on the uh, timeline. I was like, wow, I ain't seen her in a minute. Rihanna. Uh oh, she yeah. did pop up on the timeline. I saw her. She she don't be wearing them little see through shirts, man. You can see her yeah, nipples. Everything. She just be really she out here. You know, she's a fashion designer now, so she got to support her. You know, savage her savage fancy stuff. Oh, I definitely understand. You know, so. But she always got her nipples out. Maybe it'd, it'd be making me feel some way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's a hottie. Yeah, me. Agree. Agree. She is nice, man. So, 
So. I, and she's like, let me see you naked, naked, naked. Yeah. Oh, I want to see you naked, man. I mean, I, yeah. This nigga, this nigga Chris Brown fucked up. So anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Chris Brown fucked up, man. Where did that come from? I'm just thinking about if I had her as my girlfriend, I wouldn't fuck up. If my damn who had her. A lot of people fucked up. If he had a billionaire, bro, he I agree, but he, he turned her into yeah. a bad girl. He punched her in her face. Oh, and then, then she went straight bad girl. Yeah. So, yeah. and she ain't been back ever since. Yep, so, uh, coming up next, my audio week, I got, uh, Sienna Taylor. She posted that. Sienna Taylor, man, she's nice. She posted a picture, you know, she just had the baby. You know these two people that she just named have over a million followers, right? And they do, but just wait. Go ahead. No, she posted a picture, you know, she, I guess she on my first snapback, and I'm like, damn, she back cold, like. Hold on, she got another baby after they just had one? No, just the recent baby, you know, after she had Rose, but what was her baby name? Uh, so they got two kids. Yeah. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, so yeah, she just had another baby. So yeah, I didn't even know she was pregnant. Man, bro, sneak burgers. Not say sneak, but you know. Right, I guess COVID baby. Exactly, most of them. Oh, what's up? What's up, COVID baby? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. That's a whole other joke, bro. I tell you what, right there, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> he said, "Who love? Who is that? Tiata Cole." Yeah, she cold. Why was she not? I mean, she not. I mean, I wouldn't she say she ugly. like, you know, super duper crazy bad, but her body is fire, man. Body. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Fire. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. You hear me? Fave. Just if y'all need a reminder, check out her fave video. Yeah, I'll give you that. Me Kanye's fave video. Bro. She said, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? Who you got for three? Uh, the last one is uh, Samantha. I'm going to give you a um, uh, runner up on this one or uh, run in on her. Okay. She's a dancer. Not like a dancer, stripper dancer. She's actually a choreographer. She, choreographer. she you know, does stuff for Tank, uh, a couple other people, you know, stuff like that. This guy, I love um, him. Right <laughs> Samantha Cardell. Samantha Cardell. This thing, I think it's a nice thing to back to the No, but she, she's a fire choreographer. I mean, she cold. She's got a nice body, cute face. Beautiful man. She's yeah, what's Samantha, her name again? Samantha Cadell. So Samantha Cadell, so she's Spanish? She's Spanish. Yeah, and she's light skin. Light skin. She talks about she's light skin. Yeah, so man. Nice body, uh, you know. So you over there in love. So who you get for number one? Number one is uh Rihanna. You you can't come home now. <laughs> 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 I told you! I told you! <laughs> it's your girl! Hey, it's the one you this like! Is, this it's you your get, answer! This, this is what you get for being so descriptive. <laughs> you better be right. short. The only reason I know about this one is because of her, so that's all I'm gonna say. Well, you walked into the corner there, bro. Yeah, man, well. It's all good. <laughs> uh, let's get to the real <laughs> shit. Now, what you got going on this week? So, man? Uh, this is one of my favorite parts of this show. Tapping into the, the entertainment of the week. Yeah. And you know what's unique about this is we tap in every Wednesday and Sunday, and then we be having like six, seven topics of peace between Wednesday and Sunday. That's like twelve every things. Week. This is the type of world we live in, where we got twelve ass things that we can pop into on a fucking four day basis. So anyway, cops, the show, you know they canceled the fucking show, right? Yeah, it's about time. They brought that bitch right the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? That bitch is been, cops is back. They canceled cops like five months ago. Now it's back. And it's only going to be overseas, which is really fucking weird. So, Dr. J doesn't have to spend that $1.5 million on his ex for expenses. She came up with seven expenses like, oh, yo, I need $1.5 million to pay for this. And... The judge was like, what your girl just said, why are you lying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, so look, I don't understand. You know, I wish that girl, like, she gonna be trying to get money in a divorce, spousal support, all that shit, and then she want this on top. It's like, damn, bitch. I mean, that's what they do when you live a All right, so I'm gonna just sell some of that shit I bought you, dude. You have some money. should have thought about that when you filed. Look, Nicki Minaj just had her baby. I'm not sure. <laughs> What they named the baby. But she just had it? Mm-hmm. That's what's right. Another baby announcement, Dan, uh, Daniel Glover, Danny Glover. I mean, not Daniel. Donald Glover. Yeah, Donald. Childish Gandhi. Yeah, there you go. Childish Gandhi. There you go. And most people are like, Donald Glover. He just had a baby boy. 
Oh, yeah? So, that's what's up. you know, bang, bang. <laughs> baby <laughs> announcements. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Okay. Well, actually, after the baby announcements. Too. Man, I'm done with baby announcements. Thank you. So, they canceled all the snow days in New York for ever. No, it will never, ever be another snow day in New York. Considering COVID. Was cool. No, yes, because they went through the COVID shit so well. Right. That now, if it's ever a snow day, they're yeah. going to be like, crack the fucking laptop open and get to get this cool. Yeah, it which just sucks. <laughs> like, that sucks. It's a whole movie on snow day. Remember? Well, that's too damn bad. Right? It's never going to be another snow day. And if New York doing it, you know who's going to fall in place. Yeah, I'm All the other places that get snow. It's a wrap. So, sorry, kids. Y'all are never going to experience a Ain't beautiful no snow, day. snow day. That's crazy. And you brought up the Snow Day movie. That's funny. That movie was hilarious. I know, but ain't that I crazy? Know that I'm just canceling snow days. Damn, dog. But I mean, no more. Damn. I'm happy I went to school when I did because yeah, snow I mean, days was perfect. Like, right? That bitch used to be in clutch, nigga. You can watch the parts. Ain't like, oh, what's about to happen? Bitch canceled, nigga. Yeah, we we out of here, nigga. So, break that in the bed. That's slow. Mm-hmm. Damian Lillard just bought uh, his own Toyota. Uh, Car dealership, Wait, of course, in Oregon, but Oregon? Okay. he just bought, you know, that's a nice entrepreneurship. I get a lot of uh, Toyota a dealership, yeah. so if you ever report in Oregon, go shop with Dane. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching this last night, South Park, this pandemic episode, uh-huh. but I was only able to watch the first like 20 minutes because I was sleepy. But it had me, it had me in tears though, the first 20 minutes I was laughing, bro. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty, it's was, it was silly, man. This nigga, uh, Stan Dad, be out here selling weed now. And it was oh, just yeah. hilarious because they'll talk about how the pandemic for everybody else was fucking them up. Right. But, you know what I'm saying, weed, man, was just sitting pretty good in the pandemic. This bitch didn't have to Right. <laughs> so that was fucking hilarious. Okay. I was enjoying that episode last night. What time. happened to South Park, man? Where that uh, shit been at? I don't know. So. Uh, Twitter banned uh, you able to tweet. I uh, hope Donald Trump dies. <laughs> they, they, banned, they banned access to that tweet. So if you try to tweet it, they Wait, won't that was actually tweeting that. I yeah. hope Donald Trump dies. Yeah, that was tweeting like fucking hotcakes. They was like, bro, yeah. like fucking a hundred million tweets. I hope you die, Donald Trump, after he got COVID. That's just crazy. So they they canceled all that. You can't say that anymore on Twitter. So I just thought that was funny, and. I think that's all my shit for for how to uh, entertain this week. What you got? <laughs> Damn, what's <laughs> that? That little way to end. Um, well, shit, Hova Meek actually has some progress in a uh, reform what is alliance. It? Meek Mill and Jay-Z. You know, they got a, a criminal justice reform alliance, and they had some progress this week. They uh, got a new bill passed in California, so they're, it's called uh, AB 1950. So people on probation uh, or parole now have it, not a chance, but the minimum, they dropped the minimums as opposed to United was getting 10, 15, so how many years on probation or whatnot. They got it down from misdemeanors a year and felony probation to two years. So that's dope. That's cool. cool. Yeah. And then, Keep things uh, out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the system. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then in lieu of that, California also got a reparations project going on. So, Man. <laughs> yeah. They uh, passed a bill again this week, uh, bill number AB 3121. You can't read your own notes? Man, no, I'll go and be for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so they about to start passing reparations or what? They actually, yeah. Look, they got a group of nine people in there, you know. Nine? Them. A group of nine. And are they white? No, they black. And they're trying to build a reform, or what are they doing? They're trying to get like a, a, a legislation passed, or exactly to get reparations to the community. So now they actually are actively looking to give money to. They're not giving them out now. They're not giving any way. Right, but they're trying to get the shit working. They're actively looking to get that get that working. Well, that's good. Yeah. So well, we'll good. see. I bet you I'll be dead by the time we get reparations. So what else you got? <laughs> Motherfuckers. Man, you say like you old, bruh. I'll be dead by the time. I'll already be like 75 years old by the time they start paying out 600K. Yeah. It's comparable to what they gave the Jewish. Yeah, hit me. So go, go ahead. Uh, Rihanna's trying to put out some new music. Uh, she just Bullshit. Said, right. She came out and said, I've been uh, dedicated to my other babies. You know, I got a lot of babies out there. She's talking about her fashion endeavors and whatnot. 
as she said, you know, music is like her outlet, so she wants to re- release some more music. Jay said he moved the copy for his reparations. <laughs> I'm with you. You talking about a baby? No, I ain't talking about no baby, bro. I'm right up on this thing. I think it's everybody. Uh, I think you're not saying it like that. A lot of people saying Tory Lanez might be innocent. Not saying Man. He's innocent, but. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of story lanes. Out, but you know what I'm saying? They say he might be innocent. I don't know if he's innocent or not, but yeah, they talking about that. My well, I guess. Because just because they only know one side so, of the story, question. Like they did they not take the gun that he shot her with and match the bullet up in her foot with the gun? They did, but it was no reason on his. Like it was no so, so they matched the gun up though. I don't know. It didn't match up. They said they matched the bullet with the gun, the with Tory Lanez gun. Yeah, but it was no bullet residue on him. Like they, that, that so was somebody his else, gun, but so somebody it took his, him so somebody took his gun and shot Meg the Stallion. We don't know. I just really think we don't know. It's a lot. It's Tory crazy. Lanez is a bitch, and I'm not fuck with that nigga. It's just a lot. What's going on, Reggie? Where did I see you just popped in, tapped in? What up, Reg? Um, I ain't seen you since '06. I'm just joking. <laughs> I ain't seen you since like I've been a couple of years. Oh, I ain't been to church in a minute. Mm-hmm. So what's up? What you got? No, uh, Jamie Foxx came back to the MCU. You said you want to dump back into the. Uh, oh yeah, you say you about to come back to the. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. They tapping. They really trying to make this whole Spider Man. To the Spider The Spider Man. They really trying to bring everything together to fruition. I really think they gonna wind up doing a Spider Verse movie live action. I mean, they finally got an actor that's actually gonna be good as Tobey Maguire. That's what the thing is. Because yeah. the other fucker they had was terrible. Andrew Garfield. So, I don't know where he uh, came from. What is Jamie Foxx made that movie. That yeah. was, it was really good yeah. because Spider-Man of too. him. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's about time. If they asked, if they really took the fans' opinions, they probably would have been, you know, having a good movie. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's so. what they kind of did when they threw uh, Donald Glover in, uh, in the first Spider Man, the Homecoming joint. Um, but whatever. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I can't wait for that to happen. There's a lot of Marvel movements happening. I mean, they pushed back Black Widow again. They pushed back the whole Marvel slate pretty much. The only thing that's coming out this year is a uh, Wine Division end of the year. Where I, have to I don't know what that is. I know I was waiting on the nerd out, but I'm gonna just stop right there. I'm gonna cut myself off. Yeah. Um, so what else you got here in town? Shit, I ain't been watching nothing but some old school '90s movies. Um, oh, I forgot about TV. I ain't watching nothing new for I'm watching old movies. Oh, I put South Park for TV. Yeah, I don't watch Harlem Nights and stuff like that. Oh, you been on your old shit? Oh, I could imagine you at the house. You probably be wearing like a whole top hat, smoking a cigar with some some slippers on, sticking, nah, getting into character. I be chilling. Sipping on chilling. some yak and a, and a glass. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm talking about the entertainment shit stuff. I don't want to go into that because you had like, a lot of stuff of positive, so I'm going to just leave that there for the entertainment. Well, shit. It's time for some music. What you been listening to? So, 21 Savage just dropped an album. 21 Savage just dropped an album. It's about time. I like 21. 21 is like... Eh, he's Savage a part I, really, I mean, I think the album get like a 7 out of 10. I was gonna say my favorite was song is the Rich Nigga Shit with Young Thug on it. You was looking at my list. No, I was not. Well, and then <coughs> another thing, Don Kennedy dropped the album too, randomly. Ooh. I'm not sure. Don Kennedy. Ooh. Oh, Don Kennedy. He is our uh, rap and roll. And um, my favorite song off that album is uh, Raymond Washington. So, you know, okay. that is what it is. And uh, you already know what I'm going to say. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. I got a uh, merch on. <laughs> I really want them niggas to free my nigga. Like, that's just annoying. So. What you got? 21 Savage. Um, yeah. <laughs> listen to the 21 uh, favorite song. Rich nigga shit. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my nigga. <laughs> like, I'm like, damn, you look at this. But that's like, probably, they ain't got that many bangers on that motherfucking album. I mean, they do got a couple of bangers you running. You think for him to be out for fire. like two and a half years, he would have probably dropped some more bangers than it what he was. did. Running is dope. Slipping is pretty fire. I mean, sliding is fire. He got a couple of, there's a couple of songs on there. I mean, I like nice. him when he rap on slow beats and don't talk about bitches and he be using pussy too much. And, um, yeah, that's 
so I'm not saying like that. That's why I wanted Rich Niggas. It's one of my favorites. But I do like how he uh, got Morgan Freeman. I don't know how the hell he got Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I, 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 I was was fire. He got Morgan Freeman I'm talking about robberies and, and rats. And... Man, that was just fire. When he was, did this, that, that's what, Snitches, Snitches and Rats is my next favorite song. That, that, I'm not going to say the song the interlude. Just, he got Morgan Freeman on here going dumb. Yeah, that was real good. Like, 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 oh, cool. yeah. Y'all should check it out just for that. Yeah, hey, Savage Monk Tool was. Seven and a half, eight out of ten. I'll give it a seven. Then six and a half. So, <laughs> what you got for kicks, bro? Uh, it was a hard choice. It was a lot of kicks. That's just previews because you know it's the end of the year. They're getting ready for next year as far as kicks go. So, we are in 2021 for kicks. So, I'm going to come with the Jordan 13s. They got the fire. Sorry, the red flints dropping. They call it red flints. Yeah, the red flints. They drop it into this year. Damn, they just are hard. They fire. I ain't, I ain't never seen them. And <coughs> my favorite Jordan is the Flint. Yeah, the Flint Thirteen. Yeah. And you got the red flints dropping. I'm trying to pull up the picture real quick. Uh, what you got for kids? Are you? Well, I got some Nike Air Max Ninety surplus called Black Infrared. They ain't got no release date. The bitch is ugly. They ain't got no release date. I'm sorry. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Man, see, he fucked up with them. I hate when they do that. They're ready. You like them? I don't like them. So, some all black kids, like the Nike Air Maxes, the traditional ones, the 90s, and they just ain't no release date. They just all black. They got like three times, three types of black. Classics? Yeah, three types of black ass, black on them. Probably Sway, Leather, or some other stuff. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, you, I got a picture of him. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm fire. Yeah, you boy is cool, man. I'm just a black side. Go ahead and look them up. Yeah, I know we did that one in the shoe since we were This guy had the black, the red. The bitch is ugly. It was between them and these. They got these coming back. The up tempos. I think those is ugly too. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just, bro, I know it's been a, it's been a crazy week in shoes. You know, Come on, man. Got some of these, they got some of these coming out some nine sevens. How many shoes you got this week, man? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. We just you know having a little sidebar. <laughs> you know, mine for the week is the thirteen red flints. You know, check them out. That's it. You know what I'm saying? What we was talking about is the the sidebar shit. We got more time for this. The crowd the crowd's favorite. No, the crowd's favorite. Uh, the crowd's favorite uh game. You know sports. Oh, I forgot about that. It is sports. This guy's crazy. Ooh, I was ready. Man. So, Cam Newton got Corona. So let's <laughs> talk about that. Corona. The whole tight squad. I know, but damn, Cam Newton got Corona. And everybody take him out of this game. You know what's next? What's that? NFL about to shut down. Corona round two about to happen in America, and then we about to be out here stuck in the house. NFL's not going to shut down. NFL's not going to shut down because I'm talking about going to a bubble. Oh, no, I hear you, but I hope, I hope, I hope, hope. Doc Rivers works for the 76ers now. He just got fired from the Clippers. Get off my list. Not on your list. Uh, Doc Rivers got got fired, but it's just his sports, his sports talk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lakers about to get ranked number four. Is that on your list, too? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, it's just sports talk. This is what happens. You know what I'm saying? And then, so, shout out to Brian. You know what might have Lakers on here. I knew that. that was yeah, crazy. you know what I'm saying? So, Lakers is about to go crazy. Shout out to my nigga Brian. I was at the barbershop the other day. They was talking about some other player people were talking about how they don't really like Brian. I thought it was a universal thing that people like Brian in Cleveland. I don't, uh-huh. I don't necessarily see what the beef is. I mean, the nigga came back here again, gave us a ring, and then slid. I mean, what's the big fucking deal? Our damn ownership is fucking stupid, and they will not uh, submit to try to be get rings on a consistent basis in like a smarter way. Like I don't, and it, you know I don't. It's just that black and white. If they would have been trying to get AD to come to fucking Cleveland, Brian would have well, fucking Brian, stayed they here. Brought everybody, <clears throat> they brought everybody. We have bro. Those were some of the man. worst trades. Is any of the people on our team? It was some of the worst trades, bro. We should have. It's just like a lot of shit that should have been done differently. And you can't blame him for trying to do what's in best interest for himself. Like, I oh, mean, well, never it's not like he never got a ring for us. He gave us seven years. It's similar to what they're doing to uh, Giannis in fucking Milwaukee. 
He oh, playing for them. He giving them all, and they not giving him the right pieces. They got Middleton. Chris Middleton. Right, bro. They need to give Tony him better. Stan. Like it's like they not taking advantage of his talent. And if you don't understand that, I mean, or see that, not you, but I'm just talking about people don't understand that and yeah. see that. I don't understand how you hold people against him. And then I'm gonna just say this because I have been saying fuck Brian all the time. Like I'm not. Uh, and I think it's the goat. I'm not in denial or anything like that. You gotta play devil, devil's advocate sometimes. Agree, but I can't play devil's advocate. You know the outcome. Brown. You just gotta go. I say go against the grain. I'm not fuck the shit, man. I'm cool. The Lakers ain't really that hot. They they decent. They did this is a bubble. It's, it's man. Crazy. Anyway, this is the hardest rain. They had two seasons in one they season. Did. So you ain't about to tell me that this is about to be an easy season. No, it's not. And easy then season. on top of that, it is what it is at this point. They just had kind of that design for him perfect. Oh, so similar to how Tom Brady got some of his rings and similar to how Golden State got two of their rings, how Kevin Love and Kyrie got injured in the damn finals and they fucking... Exactly. So I'm not trying... It, shit happens. It's a perfect story. So it's just like shit happens. And it's then my other sports topic is the... Look, brown, brown hair. Uh, and then on top of that, look over there in Saudi. <laughs> over there in Saudi. Eat it, eat it. Brown about to get in the fourth. Let's go. And then, right. so this is what I got for the Browns. I just got simply hope. That's all I got. It's like I hope. Not for this game in particular, because we about to play the Cowboys. We're going to catch an L, in my opinion. Maybe not, because the Cowboys. I don't think we're going to catch an L. Their defense ain't really that good on the pass. They, they can't. I, I, I just think the Cowboys is just is like they underwhelming. They got all the, all the pieces, but they either gonna pop or they not, and they usually don't pop. So shout out to the, the Browns. You know, just I just hope that they tap into their potential. That's all I gotta say about the Browns. And uh, what you got? Well, we got Doc River on the. Uh, you already said that. We pretty well, much. Well, what do you think about it? You can go into details. I think, that's, I think that's gonna be a good move. It's the <clears throat> Doc River success. And I hate to say this in this in <clears throat> Philly is really gonna be relying on Ben Simmons. Can he step up and or Joel? Joe, I got the lazy. Both bro. of them lazy really like it's a combo. And then you see uh, JJ Reddick gonna say, "Well, y'all fucked up." When y'all JJ Reddick should have took his ass to LA and should have played yeah. with Brian, but he was like, "Oh, I want to get a ring with the young kids." Mm-hmm. Look how Where he at right now? Yeah. Salty because he ain't in playoffs. Yeah, he got put out by Dane Miller. So, so <clears throat> that's another reason they fucked up when they didn't pay him, you know. But I agree. The 76ers would have been in perfect position to do something because they had no shooters. Nobody could score on their team. For it, was a, it was a wrap. It was a dub. But uh, we got the Browns versus the Cowboys. That was cool. The Lakers versus Heat. That's cool. We pretty much covered everything on sports, man. Um, yeah, that's yeah, all the sports. That was it. That's all the sports. So, what you got for uh, what you got for the worst part of the week? And this is real creepy shit, though, bro. Donald Trump is a dickhead of the week. Yeah, yeah. Donald he Trump is COVID. definitely. <laughs> so, give us why. He caught COVID. He. <laughs> we talked about this Wednesday. <laughs> he made a joke about, oh yeah, you see, I got a mask. I wear my mask when I need to, but you don't. If you need, wear your mask when you need to. You wouldn't have COVID. Why? Hey. If you were smart, you wouldn't be having all these people in these mass gatherings as close as we are, you know what I'm saying? Or actually closer than we are. You know what I'm saying? It's fried, bro. Like, you're doing all the wrong things. You're talking about we doing the best. This is an A plus job. We're doing great. It's, it's crazy. He was talking yeah. shit on Friday or day. Monday. Oh, no. no. What was the debate? The debate was Tuesday. We were talking shit on Tuesday about. Joe Biden wearing a mask. He's like, you always got a mask on. You stay with the mask. Nigga, you talking shit mm-hmm. like it's a bad thing. And then end up with it, Three days which I think is a fake ass hoax. No, because it's not only him. Majority of the Republicans who was at the Rose Garden yeah, event but I, got the COVID. So I, like, I don't crazy. know how to feel about it. it. It's crazy, but he's just a dickhead. If you would have followed your own Dr. Fauci's rules, just wear a mask and protect yourself. Social distancing and cool and all. But put that mask on, protect yourself. So, this is what I got for week, the Dickhead of the Week. Who's your Dickhead of the Week? Uh, to quote Dave Chappelle from the Dave Chappelle show. Play. Hold on. My folks in Canada are fing up. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let him say it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm saying it one more time for y'all asses. 
<laughs> so that is my dickhead of the week. And you know, the part of it with that, I did have Donald Trump as well. So, you know, That's very, fucking A. Fucking A. And, uh, so uh did you wanna shout out we did pick a giveaway uh winner last week. But we need your fucking cash app. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, like, how? how? So, Justin, we need your cash app. And we're going to pick another winner on Wednesday. So, Justin, send us your cash app on the DM side or comment now. And, yeah, bang, bang. And then, you know, that was another week. This is another week of uh, the cloudy kickback. Like, follow, subscribe. You know, that's very cloudy. Glee. I am Jake Evan, and we uh we out of here. <laughs> Let's go.